Hi guys, this is Andre and welcome to the next episode on AF Swift Tutorials. In this video I will show you how to create custom build configuration in your Xcode project. So I've created a sample Swift UI project. So first let's start from a first method using build configuration. So we will need to go to our project and build settings. Here we hit plus, add user defined setting. And we'll create a base URL using capitalize base URL and expand it and under debug we will add HTTPS and call it debug.com and for release we will call it release.com just to see how it works then we need to go back to content view and first let's create a vertical stack and in order to get our base URL we need to get to bundle main and info dictionary and we're looking for our base URL and it should be string and info dictionary is an optional alright so we've added our code and we need to do one more thing we need to go back to project go to the open info dot p list and add another key and call it base URL and create a variable using dollar sign and inside of parentheses we call base underscore URL like we created inside of our build settings and now we can run our code hit resume and click get URL and we're getting our debug.com in order to test our release mode our Swift UI won't allow us to test release mode we need to switch our scheme so let's create new scheme call it config test hyphen release and hit OK and inside of release hit edit scheme and under build configuration we switch to release mode and now let's run our code in simulator and hit get url and we're getting release.com alright so that was our first way to create a build configuration now I will show you another way, probably better one, to create build configuration. And we will create it using enums. So let's switch back to our config. Okay, so I've switched back to debug mode. So first we will need to create new file call it configuration and here we will create an enum configuration
Okay, so here we have our configuration for debugging release. Uh, under raw value, we're getting our configuration from bundle and uh, we're initializing it from a raw value. Now let's create a base URL extension for our configuration in order to get a base URL on debug and release mode. Alright, so in our configuration base URL, we need to get google.com for debug mode and apple.com for release mode. So now let's test it. We're going back to content view. So in order to get our configuration from our enum, we call configuration.current and raw value. And I'll add another text to show our configuration base URL. Alright, and one more thing, we also need to add our configuration inside info.plist. So let's create another key, call it configuration. And add a variable, dollar sign. Alright, so here we have current configuration debug and it returns google.com. Let's switch to release mode and try running our simulator and we should get apple.com and here we have an apple.com and current config is released. So that's it with the custom build configuration. If you find this video interesting and useful, give it a like, consider subscribing to this channel. And thank you for watching and I will see you next episode. Bye bye.